said in the break. I'm up for this. I'm really up for this. You're enjoying yourself, aren't you? I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. I'm way out of time. Yeah. Well, we're loving it on your behalf because uh, the two top ones still are there. And I love seeing the 20 and the 35. Then we got a big gap. But let's face it, those five are disposable. Can you find one of them in your next selection? You think so? Yep. Compliment. Michael, number 14, please. Fingers crossed for you. I want this to be a blue light that lights on top of your car. Look. Yes! yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, guys. Yeah, 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 trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I don't want to tempt fate, but I always look at that configuration and think, wouldn't it be great to see the bottom two remaining at the very end? It's going to happen one day. There's no reason, no reason at all why it shouldn't happen for you. Hello. He, of course, counters by saying, and of course, there's no reason why the last two boxes shouldn't be um, diametrically opposite, the 1P and the 10P. Proving right. wrong in the next round, won't we? Des, take the money now, he's saying. Take £25,000. That is a hell of a lot of money. Good money. That is a hell of a lot of money. That's a lot of money, £25,000. I'm only getting one chance to sit in this chair. And I feel, deep down inside, I can't explain it 100%. I feel today... It's my day. I'm ready for that question now. £25,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr. Banker. But I'm going to have to decline. No deal. Thank you, Des. Okay. Aaron, number 12, please, mate. Well, he said today is his day. There should be no fear in this box, but all of a sudden the tension here is tangible. Aaron, first of three, thank you. Love you a bit, mate. Friend for life, yeah? Trust me. One P for you. Feeling down the back of my neck at this minute time. This is great. Feeling. This is great. On the second show of our new season, wouldn't it be great to create our first male quarter millionaire? Your second box. Twenty-one, Stevie. Please. Stevie, he's got feelings up the back of his neck, and I'm getting a tingle here customer. about this game. Stevie, box twenty-one, please. Here we go, Mate. Number nine, Spencer. The belief's there, mate. Believe it. Almost at a sensational five box. So confident he knows it. He knows it's going to be fine. That's trust me now. Promise you, mate. I know it. I know it. If you got the belief to go for the big one, it's fine. You know, if you've got that belief that the big one is going to be yours, 35,000, no problem at all. I think his attitude will have changed 100%. I think now he's got to believe your belief. And he's now going to test your belief, Des. How 
how do I distill all that down so that you fully appreciate where he's coming from? He believes that he is now going to test your, your resolve, your belief. And he says, you're a decorated police officer, you're nobody's fool, you're a very good reader of the game, and therefore he is very confident that the valuation he now puts on box 19 will actually get you out of this game. He's offering you for the box 45. Whoa! Oh. 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 That is unreal. Des, he's scared because he knows you're going to go at the end and be the male quarter of a millionaire. That is unreal. The banker knew it had to be something to arrest your attention, Des. Yeah. And he wants the game over now. Des, you've now got the banker's respect. You've also been on the wings and you've seen other games. Yeah. The next time, if you tip them two out, you ain't going to see that money at all. No. You know what I mean? You know yourself that our games can go totally wrong. So, yeah. be focused, mate. I think it's time I um, told you my dream that I've actually had recently. And my dream was um, I had £250,000 and I had £20,000 left on my board. They were the last two numbers I'd left on my board. Dead. Good luck with your dreams. Thank you, Mr. Banker. Des, that's a dream. Forty-five thousand. That's reality. Yeah. Don't don't just dismiss it. Take your time. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Des. He did say one other thing you might <coughs> find interesting. Yeah. He said fifty thousand pounds. <laughs> My goodness. He wants you out. You have convinced him totally that you have the belief to become our first male quarter millionaire. That belief has now got you a valuation on this box of fifty thousand pounds. Wow. Now, now, now. It's an interesting situation for all of us, Des, because if you have that belief and it's that strong, why wouldn't you test it to the limit? On the other hand, £50,000 is, you know, life-enhancing money. You know, we play with numbers here, but £50,000, it's a huge amount of money. Des... If it was anyone else, I'd say deal, but I really, really think you can do it. Stay positive. Yes, I'm ready for the question. There is. £50,000. Deal? Or no deal? Deal. Now, this is game. going to be fascinating. Please play on mm -hmm. with honesty. Number 22, Rod, please. Okay, so you would have been playing on yeah. with 22 on the basis it was either £100, 20000 or 10p. Okay, Rod, away we go. Hey, I'll fix the big one there. going to be our first male quarter millionaire anyway. Let's, okay. prove, let's prove you weren't also getting 100,000. Okay. Right, I would have gone for my date of birth next. Diane. 
Okay, Diane, are you going to prove that actually he got out at just the most perfect time? Away you go. No? Okay, all right, we've got one more. What? What are you crapping for? What are you crapping for? We didn't want to see that. We wanted the 100,000. The number that I was leaving to the end was number two. Right. Because it's my favourite number. Okay, so it would have been two so and been. 19 at the end. So, so this next 10. one would have been 10. And now so. we need it to prove that your belief wasn't just slightly out of kilter. Were you slightly off target? That today was not the quarter million, but actually today was the 100,000. We don't want that belief. Zoe, blow it away. Oh! Your dream was 20,000 and the quarter million. You're not far off your dream. But actually, were you going to win twice what you dealt at? Hello. Yes, sometimes dreams do come true. <laughs> yes, and sometimes a dream turns into a nightmare. You're a very good reader of the game. What do you think the offer is that I've just put the phone down on? If I'm honest, yeah. I would say it's probably going to offer about 47. You're wrong. He said, give me back the 50,000. And you can have my gamble and your nearly dream could come true. Bankers gamble. Give back the 50,000 and potentially double it. Des, that figure there, 20 grand. It's still a good figure to go away with that, mate. A two in one shot. 20 grand, it's a fantastic amount of money. I know you've got the 50,000. It's yours, it's in your pocket. You're gambling your own money now. But, it's there. That's... I'm not going to ever save that amount of money. Ever. No matter how hard I work. But Des, nobody's going to get an opportunity like this. You've got a one in two chance of doubling your money. Your dream. Be confident. You've been confident all game. You've been confident. Believe in yourself. I'm ready for the question now. There's Banker's Gamble. Deal? <laughs> Hello? Um, yes, you did interrupt. Uh, never mind, though. Do uh, feel free to say something. Right, okay, that's very important. Um, if you did say deal to the Banker's Gamble, he is guaranteeing you the swap. Uh, remember that I only pass the message on. Mm -hmm. If you don't say deal to the banker's gamble, you're just a big chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so where were we? <laughs> Des. Banker's gamble. Deal or no deal? No deal. This is, uh, this is so fascinating. We will play this out for real. Uh, you would have been offered the swap. Would you have said yes to the swap? I would have said yes to the swap. Okay, so let's take 19 away. Squadron leader, I would like box number two, please. Why does it mean so much to you, Des? <laughs> it's just... I don't know. I like the number two. Yeah. <laughs> Always have ever since I was little. And... All through my life, it's just been my favourite number. Fascinating game. You went at £50,000, and if your self-belief had carried to the very end of the game, would you be going away with the second biggest prize we offer in deal? No. Yeah! <laughs> Good result. <laughs> Squadron leader, I carried it away from the table. Well done, Des. Under a thousand over there. <laughs> <laughs>
50,000 pounds. Top of the game, you had 20,000 in the box. Des, it's been a pleasure. Great game. 50,000 pounds. Enjoy that money. Oh, this is really good. Wow, I can't believe the atmosphere here says it all. I just can't believe how lucky we are. Yesterday, banker spanking. Today, banker spanking. It's just absolutely brilliant. You want to miss? You wouldn't want to miss tomorrow. It could be three in a row. Fantastic. See you then. Stay the floor for Robin's perfect recall next. Gonna win twice what you dealt out. Hello. Yes, sometimes dreams do come true. <laughs> yes, and sometimes a dream turns into a nightmare. You're a very good reader of the game. What do you think the offer is that I've just put the phone down on? If I'm honest, yeah. I'd say it's probably going to offer about. Seven. You're wrong. He said, give me back the 50,000 and you can have my gamble and your nearly dream could come true. Bankers gamble. Give back the 50,000 and potentially double it. Des, that figure there, 20 grand. It's still a good figure to go away with that, mate. A two-in-one shot, 20 grand, it's a fantastic amount of money. I know you've got the 50,000, it's yours, it's in your pocket. You're gambling your own money now, but it's there. That's... I'm not going to ever save that amount of money, ever. No matter how hard I work. But, Des, nobody's going to get an opportunity like this. You've got a one-in-two chance of doubling your money. Your dream. Be confident. You've been confident all game. You've been confident. Believe in yourself. I'm ready for the question now. There's Banker's Gamble. Deal? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> um, yes, you did interrupt. Uh, never mind, though. Do uh, feel free to say something. Right, okay, that's very important. Um, if you did say deal to the banker's gamble, he is guaranteeing you the swap. <laughs> uh, remember that I only pass the message on. Mm -hmm. If you don't say deal to the banker's gamble, you're just a big chicken. <laughs> so where were we? Des. Bankers gamble. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah! <laughs> you got 50,000 pounds. This is, uh, this is so fascinating. We will play this out. Or oh, no deal. Deal. Now, this is game. going to be fascinating. Please play on mm -hmm. with honesty. Number 22, Rod, please. Okay, so you would have been playing on with yeah. 22 on the basis it was either £100, 20000 or 10p. Okay, Rod, away we go. Hey, I'll fix the big one there. going to be our first male quarter millionaire anyway. Let's, okay. prove, let's prove you weren't also getting a hundred thousand. Okay. 
Right, I would have gone for my date of birth next. Diane. Okay, Diane, are you going to prove that actually he got out at just the most perfect time? Away you go. No? Okay, all right, we've got one more. What? What are you clapping for? What are you clapping for? We didn't want to see that! We wanted the 100,000. The number I was leaving to the end was number two. Right. Because it's my favourite number. Okay, so it would have been two so and been. 19 at the end. So, so this next 10. one would have been 10. And now so. we need it to prove that your belief wasn't just slightly out of kilter. Were you slightly off target? That today was not the quarter million, but actually today was the hundred thousand. We don't want that belief. Zoe, blow it away. Oh! Your dream was 20,000 and the quarter million. You're not far off your dream. But actually, were you gonna win twice what you dealt at? Hello? Yes, sometimes dreams do come true. <laughs> yes, and sometimes a dream turns into a nightmare. You're a very good reader of the game. What do you think the offer is that I've just put the phone down on? If I'm honest? Yeah. I'd say it's probably going to offer about... Seven. You're wrong. He said, give me back the 50. It's a lot of money. There is. He did say one other thing you might <coughs> find interesting. Yeah. He said 50,000 pounds. Oh, oh, <laughs> my goodness. He wants yeah. you out. You have convinced him totally that you have the belief to become our first male quarter millionaire. That belief has now got you a valuation on this box of 50,000 pounds. Wow. Now, now, now. It's an interesting situation for all of us, Des, because if you have that belief and it's that strong, why wouldn't you test it to the limit? On the other hand, fifty thousand pounds is, you know, life enhancing money. You know, we play with numbers here, but fifty thousand pounds it's a huge amount of money. Des, if it was anyone else I'd say deal, but I really, really think you can do it. Stay positive. Yes, I'm ready for the question. Des, £50,000. Deal? Or oh, no deal? Deal. Now, this is game. going to be fascinating. Please play on mm -hmm. with honesty. Number 22, Rod, please. Okay, so you would have been playing on with yeah. 22 on the basis it was either £100, 20000 or 10p. Okay, Rod, away we go. Hey, I'll fix the big one there. going to be our first male quarter millionaire anyway. Let's okay. prove let's prove you weren't also getting a hundred thousand. Okay. Right, I would have gone for my date of birth next. Diane. Okay, 11. Diane, are you going to prove that actually he got out at just the most perfect time? Away you go. No? Okay, all right, we've got one more. What? What are you clapping for? What are you clapping for? What are you clapping for? I've got a question now. £25,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr. Banker. But I'm going to have to decline. No deal. Thank you, Des. <laughs> okay. 
Aaron, number 12, please, mate. Well, he said today is his day. There should be no fear in this box, but all of a sudden the tension here is tangible. Aaron, first of three, thank you. Love you a bit, Trust mate. Me, mate. Friend for life, yeah? Trust me. One P for you. Feeling down the back of my neck at this minute time. This is great. Isn't it? This is great. On the second show of our new season. Wouldn't it be great to create our first male quarter millionaire? Your second box. Twenty-one, Stevie. Please. Stevie. He's got feelings up the back of his neck, and I'm getting a tingle here Trust about me. this game. Stevie, box twenty-one, please. Going, mate. Number nine, Spencer. The belief's there, mate. Believe it. Almost at a sensational five box. So confident he knows it. He knows it's going to be five. That's trust me. No. Promise you, mate. I know it. I know it. Right. You got the belief to go for the big one. It's fine. Come on! You know, if you've got that belief that the big one is going to be yours, 35,000, no problem at all. I think his attitude will have changed 100%. I think now he's got to believe your belief. And he's now going to test your belief, Des. How do I 